thing in the morning and the construction crew is right outside my window. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Today's plan, breakfast, art museum, lunch, and who knows after that. We have nothing planned. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. What did you just do? Look at that. That is a wrapper. <laughs> she's hiding it. We are waiting for our food at the restaurant and she's eating candy. One of the things I do love about breakfast in Japan is when you get toast, you get serious. Thick toast. Look at that. How's the coffee? <laughs> Thank you. Believe it or not, I've actually never been to the Kurobe Art Museum. So this will be a cool new experience for me. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Come for lunch at a ramen shop, a local ramen shop, Muteppo. It's a chain, but it's real good. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Hi. You too. Well, I've got some free time, so I thought I'd just stop in for a little while uh, at this uh, internet and comics cafe, manga cafe that just opened. Uh, very recently, uh, right in uh, Uwozu, the town next to Kurobe. Uh, I've been to uh, comic cafes before. They're pretty cool, and uh, they're a good place to kill some time. So, let's check it out. Wow. 
107. Okay, it's kind of like a library in here, so I'm gonna talk pretty quietly. Uh, but first they had me choose like what kind of a seat I want. This room that I'm in now is a single room, so it's just like room for one chair, a computer, me. Um, they also have like double rooms. They have uh, rooms with tatami mat floors. They have rooms with massage chairs in them. They have um, they have bigger like karaoke rooms. They have billiards, darts. They have all kinds of stuff you can do here. It's pretty cool. They also have a full library of manga comics that you can just, for as long as you're here, it's all you can read. Like you can just go and take a book and read for as, um, as long as you're here. I rented this room for three hours, so I got three hours to kill. I forgot to mention, of course, the full drink bar for all you can drink soft drinks. Got my melon soda. Let's go. Yeah. Alright, so that was 1,500 yen, so about 12, 13 bucks for three hours, uh, not too bad. And, you know, like I said, a great way to just pass the time. Home again. These aren't real glasses, by the way. They're, uh, they block out blue light or whatever, I don't know. I use them when I use the computer. Supposedly it's better for your eyes. Maybe it's not, who knows, but hey, better safe than sorry. Mail time. I actually got this a couple of days ago, but I haven't opened it yet. So it's time to open it now. This is my Wine of the Month Club from Caldi's Coffee. Uh, every month they send me two bottles of wine. This was a birthday present from Salary. Uh, my birthday's in March, so this has been coming every month since March. However, this is actually the last one. <laughs> she only got it for a few months. So, this is the last time I'll get to do it. But it's been really cool, getting wines every month. Mango wine, that'll be fun to drink. And, oh my gosh, this one's heavy. Whoa, look at that bottle. That is crazy. Rosso de Canta Ceci. I don't know what kind of wine it is, but it looks... I mean, look at that bottle. That is so strange. It just... Alright, I'm excited to try this one. Awesome. It always comes with this explanation of the wines. And like... The story of the wine and how to drink it and a recipe for some foods that go well with it or something. I'm always too lazy to actually read this whole thing. Eh. Thank you for the wine. Sorry, I love you. Thank you so much for getting me the Wine of the Month Club these past few months. It's been really awesome. The wines have been great. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Send me a comment or a question or whatever. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs>